What's going on YouTube? It's I got Toja. I'm back with another farming guide. Today I'm back with part two of my solo farming series where I show you the best locations in Diablo Immortal for solo farming. I've tested all of these locations in these videos myself and still farm them all on a regular basis. Uh, depending on which area is free to farm so basically I go to one of the areas if someone's there I'll move on to the next one because it's not optimal to be farming it when there's other people around um, and on that note I want to say that these are solo farm locations only and not group farming locations the reason they're not group farming locations is because the mob spawn rate isn't fast enough isn't fast enough for a group and it's just fast enough for a solo player for you to be able to keep up kill streaks, and um, you'll see that once you start farming them anyway. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check that out. Also, um, I highly suggest you do so. So the location that I'm going to show you today is once again in the Shazar Sea, uh, but this time it's located just to the left of the Domain of Horror. One of my friends actually introduced me to this location. Uh, he just said one day, so come check out this location, see what you think of it. I didn't think I'd find it better than the location in my previous video, but to be honest, this one is actually better. Uh, what makes this better than the previous one is that there are no shielded mobs, so you don't have to have any downtime having to keep smacking and smacking and smacking a mob that's watched too much Game of Thrones and decided that death is not today. <laughs> Oh, that's not the one. What is it? He says, "What do we? What do we say to death? Not today. That's yeah. Been a while since I watched Game of Thrones. Uh, this area is a lot easier to keep up kill streaks. Also, as you don't have to say the cooldown on your movement speed abilities. And to be honest, you don't really need much movement speed anyway. You will need a little bit sometimes, just to." move from the, one of the bottom locations because that's like a, a long part not a long pathway but a semi long pathway you'll see what i mean in the video it takes a little longer to get from the pack you just killed to that next pack but you'll you'll find a way it, you'll always find a way to um decrease that gap if that makes sense and once again it has plenty of elite spawns and there's some zone events that also happen here so you can easily fill up your daily cap also on those um as you know there's a cap i think it's like five a day of the the daily um zone events you can do like the the blue events that pop up on your screen from time to time so yeah you get some of those in this spot so it's good for farming those also and the monstrous essence basically falls out the sky in this location which makes it a great place for experience and legendary items too you want to be handing in as much monstrous essence as you can each day because that's one of the best ways to get experience and legendary gear i've actually got a lot of triple stats on all of my characters handing in those so make sure you're doing that and yeah unlike me i like to keep my videos short and sweet so that's all for this one if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button almost at 900 subs as well so i can't thank you all enough for the support you've all shown me over the last month it's, it's been overwhelming to be honest I, I started before i started making diablo immortal content i had like 180 subs i posted my first video and honestly i was only gonna make that video and then just leave it at that but that video just blew up and yeah it's it's like really motivated me to make more videos for you guys so i'll see you in the next one